Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to add backend targets to Azure Application Gateway. In the previous video, we created an application gateway, we created the routing rule, we created the front end uh, configuration, but in here we will use virtual machines as the target backend for the application gateway. You can either use existing virtual machines or create new ones. I'm going to create new ones for it. So we will create two virtual machines as backend server for the application gateway. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. So I'm logged on to the portal and this is our application gateway. You see it's in East US region. This is the public IP. This is the VNet to which it belongs. And this is the application gateway. You click on it. you see the health probes you there are no this is the backend pool and if you would check the properties of it running standard this is the basic stuff so i'm going to click on home i'm going to click on create a resource i'm going to create a virtual machine 2016 data center right I'm gonna keep it in my application gateway resource group virtual machine name would be my VM it should be in the same region where I created the application gateway and uh, you can go for the username sorry about the caps and here Public inbound ports, I'm going to go with none. This is the size of the VM that I'm selecting. And rest is, I'm going to keep the default, but in the networking, I am going to select my existing VNet. My VNet, and this is the backend subnet. And Nick security, I'm going to go with defaults for other one, right, under management, I'm going to set it boot diagnostic to disable, OS, advanced, nothing, tags, create, same way I'm going to Do it for the another VM as well. Mm -hmm. Click on create. I'm going to wait for the virtual machine creation to complete before continuing. So let me just pause the video and come back. Okay, the deployment is complete. I'm going to go to resource. And I'm going to install IIS on the virtual machine only to verify as you're created the application gateway successfully so let me log on this is the public IP of my virtual machine in here it will give me a prompt to enter the username and password And if not, oh, I'm sorry, I disabled the incoming port on this VM. So I am going to create one of use, do that from the Azure Cloud Shell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
let me quickly create this as well inside this resource group only so that when I delete the resource group after the lab is done I don't want to check each and every resource separately I'm just going to delete the resource group okay I'm going to run this command to add an extension uh, IIS onto the existing VM let's see how it goes looks like it is running from PowerShell to tell the time it is doing this let me go to the uh, application gateway and add the server so I'm gonna go to backend pools my backend pool virtual machine save and you see that the IS extension is already done so if I scroll up you see this ok here and uh, in here it is adding my server to the backend pool you can add two machines as well and you can then text, test the application gateway all right it is done now if you scroll it down and you put it up back in pools you see one virtual machine now if you go back to your application gateway and if you see you see the name my vm here when i uh, browse the public ip address that i associated on the browser all right so this is how you add the backend target you can add one more target install the is role on that vm as well and then test it by adding two VMs. Alright, I hope this was informative for all of you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.